today we are at Science Shared, an event in which students share the group works that they made in collaboration with researchers and with organizations. I chose the course of Science Communication and Outreach because I am very interested in bringing science to the general public. It's basically my passion. I've always wanted to do science communication. It is attended by over 150 students from different academic, cultural and linguistic backgrounds. It's not only communicating specifically the science, but also putting the science in a broader societal context. And that's also the reason why we support this particular course on science communication and outreach. We received some theoretical background about like the science or the art of science communication. It ranges from really practical things such as which fonts to use in written communication but also really broad ideas. There are many guest lectures by many different people from different fields. Each week we have an assignment which keeps you really interested and engaged. The course is a very interactive course and it teaches me to push my limits into explaining. And I really enjoyed being able to work hands-on um, and especially receiving feedback from other students. And, and a very important aspect of this course is that they really can do it themselves with the group. We learn to become science communicators through different projects. Students are getting practical experience by writing a popular science paper and by working in group towards a project. We work directly with the IPF, International Polar Foundation. We are actually developing an educational package about meteorites in Antarctica and we were in need of video material. Really well done work. I was very surprised by the quality. I asked them to create a video and it was Perfect. It was a great collaboration. We got great input and feedback from Mieke. They learn things in their courses that are actually refreshing for me as a science communicator. We used quite some new techniques this year that were just not available last year and these were representative in the results of the students this year. In this course we set up team projects in collaboration with researchers, organizations and institutes in need of science communication. We made a video. In the video we explained the Einstein telescope. It's about a research facility which still needs to be built and which will only be operational somewhere mid-2030. Yeah, we worked with Hans Platz, who is the project manager of the Einstein Telescope. I was quite happy with the results I have seen so far. For K. Leuven's 600 years anniversary, we're looking for several projects that can be used to be displayed at the Vesalius Museum. We made an interactive poster where we provided the public with facts about how people can see, but we also included three visual experiments so that the people can experience this for themselves. In this way, we get fresh ideas from people outside the field and how we can display brain research to the general audience. Some of the designs are really great, they look almost like professional graphic designers, even though this is the first time. Well, the students are amazing, they have very good ideas. It brings energy, it brings young energy. Today, it is vital that scientists use their voices and insights to bridge the gap between research and society. In this course, young scientists embark on a journey in the vast world of science communication.